welcome back to my channel my name is Tine. i'm a youtuber based in lagos nigeria and if you are new to my channel i want to say a very big welcome to you if this is your first time clicking on my video please do not make your last okay by clicking the subscribe button and also the notification bell so whenever i post on here you get notified okay to my returning subscribers thank you thank you <laughs> thank you for always loving you know and subscribing to my channel I'm sure you guys will be hearing a lot of background noise from this end. Please pardon me, okay? I'm filming at a very busy. Is this English correct? Anyways, the period I'm filming is very, very busy. Have you please kindly ignore, okay? Now, let's get right into the video of today. Something I'm about to talk about is something very, very, you know, very, should I call it sensitive? It's something so many people have different opinions about. And that is the reason I want to talk about it here. You know, in this space, we literally talk about, you know, different things that happen around and just getting people's insights on them. So I really want to understand, or oh, okay, let me just give my view then in the comment section, you let me know what your opinion is. So I've realized that in so many families, sex education is something people shy away from. Like, I know that growing up, I barely heard much about sex education. I never knew about the effects. The negative in fact I, I really didn't even get get all those training of you know nobody should touch here or nobody should do this or this is what this is this, when you do this it will lead to that or whatever you know just basic knowledge on sex education i never got that even while in school we were never taught that per se except okay no we we're never taught the only thing i was taught in school that was when i was in like just a three or two thereabout i was taught administration and we are not even taught ovulation, but shall we are taught menstruation and then, you know, woman, a woman's a reproductive organ and likewise that of a guy, okay? And that was in, I think, home economics then. I don't know what they call it right now, but yeah, back then in secondary school, we were taught that. So I honestly don't know about now. I don't know if it's still in the school curriculum, but at that then, I knew I was taught in GSS3. And honestly, if... If I'm to be very honest, I feel like that is a very, very wrong time to teach a child. I mean, it's not like it's bad to teach them then, but that is a very, very wrong time to start sex education for a child. I feel like the very moment a child starts understanding that this is my head, this is my ear, they should understand every other part of their body and where people are not meant to touch. Okay, this will actually enlighten the child on what sex education is all about i mean basic knowledge that they need to know i mean i understand if there are, there are certain things they are not supposed to know at a very tender age but still basic knowledge is very very important you know there are vital things they need to know about i wish i was taught when i was a child that you know there are certain things a guy can do to you or there's a certain way a, a person shouldn't play with you or your body parts i really wish i learned all those things when i was younger maybe my you know my mindset about certain things would have been different okay so i feel like in as much as we don't want to expose our children to so much you know so much adult life at a very tender age or you know so much so much that they're supposed to know as kids because in as much as i'm clamoring for sex education from a very tender age i still believe in allowing kids to be kids okay allow a child to be a child allow them know what they need to know at the time they need to know it okay also i feel like them knowing their body parts and knowing what people shouldn't touch isn't you going above board okay it's just you enlightening them on what people should do with them and what people shouldn't i mean this will help them on the long run now when a child is being molested or when there is a sign of molestation or someone is you know trying to do something like that they can easily identify and tell you one other thing i feel you should also do alongside sex education is trying to make your kids your friends make them be your friend make them understand that they can literally tell you everything okay make them feel very comfortable to tell you things so i feel like teaching kids all this is very very essential i mean it will help them know when people are going above board or what have you and then stop when i say sex education at a very tender age i'm not talking of you trying to teach your child how to have sex or or you know where where to buy a condom from i don't know if you understand what i mean like those those are are you going above board those are not meant for kids that is where allowing kids be kids come in right but what i'm talking about is situations where your child has started leaving the even 
when the child is still at home, even before they start going to school. Tell them basic things, okay? This person shouldn't touch you or whatever. This shouldn't happen. And when your child goes out and come back, try and hear what happened. So what happened where you went to? So who did you see there? So what happened? What did you eat there? What did they tell you? You know, all those kind of things. I mean, I'm a first time mom. I, I, my daughter has not even really grown that much start having such conversations with her. But I personally feel like this is my opinion and this is exactly the way I'd want to train my daughter. Also, I feel like the already existing moms, like, I mean, mother of four, three, uh, or what have you, that is on here watching me. And I'm sure you have your ways of going about that. So please let me know, what do you think is the right way, or how are you training your children? Because, I mean, this sex education thing doesn't only go down to just a girl child. I, I don't even understand why people feel like it's only a girl you should protect. You should, pro you should protect every child, whether a boy or a girl, every single child needs to be protected, okay? So let me hear your opinion. What do you think? Do you think it's too early to introduce them to all that? Because, I mean, this is very much, this is my personal opinion and it could be wrong. I sincerely want to get the right opinion. Maybe at this stage so that when my child is grown, I can know when is the right time to start having such conversations with her, okay? So I honestly would want to hear your opinion or how you go about it. Like, how do you, how do you teach your child sex education? Like the basic information or what are the steps like at what stage do you feel like we should tell them this and at what stage should we tell them that because personally i feel like when a child is like a, a year plus two years three years and they already know body parts you should tell them where people are not supposed to touch you should tell them when they, they should let you know I, I don't even feel like they are practicing certain things they should tell you or things they shouldn't tell you right they should literally tell you everything that happened around them but let them know when to tell someone to stop or when to tell somebody that you see what you've done i'll tell my mom or just something basically okay so you guys i think i've been able to pass my message across i try to make this video as short as possible you see these days when I want to put out important topic, I try to make this the video as very short as possible so that you don't get bored and click out. I really want you to listen to what I have to say and also hear your opinion in the comment section. So this is a very, very sensitive topic. And I've always wanted to put it out there and also hear people's opinion, okay, to know what is right or what you feel is right or wrong, okay? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please do that. It's free. <laughs> Anyways, click the subscribe button, okay? And turn on the notification bell. That we want to put one here. You get notified, all right? See you next time on my face when we have to discuss something else important. And until then, bye.